So, there's something that can be seen quite often around writing, incorrect tenses. To be honest, that is a very general term, so let's dive further. An incorrect tense is when a word in a phrase is in a different tense to the rest of the sentence, like this, the children was playing outside. Can you spot the error? You probably can. Was is the incorrect tense to go here. Instead, since children is a plural noun and the phrase is in the past tense, the correct verb is were. Now, there is a similar subject to this, which is about using the correct sentence structure for your sentence to get across what you mean, but that's in another video, shown in the info card above. Still here? Good job! If you have ever wondered why we use different words for different tenses, here's your answer, quoted from a post. Language benefits from a principle called redundancy, this means that some information is expressed in multiple ways and multiple times. There is a lot of redundancy in human languages, as it makes communication easier. If you think about it from the point of view of transmission, you have a message that is encoded, sent over a noisy channel, and then decoded at the other end. If in the course of the transmission something gets lost, it is still possible to decode the message, and in many cases without changing the actual meaning. Sure, he learn is easy to understand, but what if you didn't understand it properly and hear we learn instead? If it was we learned you know that something went wrong, assuming you trust the grammatical proficiency of the speaker, and you can try and reinterpret it as either we learn or he learns, depending on context. Great explanation from Oliver Mason, by the way. Also, in situations like, blue houses are the best affirms that there is more than one blue house in existence instead of, blue house are the best which could mean there is any amount of blue houses, and, to be honest, we can kind of be glad that our languages are woven together like the way they are, right? So, this video was more informative than others have been active, like when we tell you how to turn bullet points into full sentences, but we hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe, check out the items on your screen, and we'll see you next time.